Hello everyone, now we will see the concept of Data Encryption Standard or DES. DES is a symmetric key block cipher published by National Institute of Standards and Technology NIST. If we see the encryption and decryption process with uh, DES, it will be something like that. This, uh, as far as the encryption is concerned, the DES uh, cipher is accepting 64 bit plain text applied to DES cipher and it is going to give you 64 bit cipher text as the output. On the decryption side, uh, the DES reverse cipher is accepting 64 bit cipher text and uh, after decryption process, it is going to give you output of 64 bit plain text. In both the operations, we are using 56 bit key. Okay, now let us see the DES structure in detail. So, this is the DES structure. The DES structure. As we can see, the DES structure, it is accepting 64-bit plain text. It is having two P boxes called initial permutation and final permutation. In between this, we are having total 16 round of DES function. Okay, and as you can see, each round is having its own round key of 48 bits. Okay, and we are having round key generator which is providing key for each and every round. And as I've told you, the cipher key will be 56 bit in nature. Now, let us see uh, what exactly this P box is. The initial and final permutation is called as P box, and each P box or each permutation is taking 64 bit input and permutes them according to some predefined rule. Now let us see what is happening in each and every round in detail. Okay, so this is the diagram of what exactly is happening in the each and every round of DES. The round is using uh, the 16 rounds. Actually, the DES is using 16 rounds. And each round of DES is a feastal cipher. Here, we are having 64 bits data divided into two halves, uh, one, uh, each of 32 bits. First 32 bits is called as LI-1 and next 32 bit is called as RI-1. And we are applying some key K1 to the function f of r i minus 1 comma k i. So, it, as we can see, the round uh, is having two functions with it. First one is mixer, second one is swapper. In the mixer, we are going to XOR the leftmost 32 bits up with the function f of r i minus 1 comma k i. Okay, after performing this XOR, we are going to use the function called swapper. This swapper is going to swap the th bits. Okay, the right 32 bits is coming to the left hand side called LI and the XOR output is coming to the right hand side. Okay, so now the question is what exactly is happening with this function f of ri minus 1 comma ki. Now let us see what exactly this function is. Okay, now do remember we have seen the DES structure which was having 16 different rounds and each round this particular function is happening wherein uh, mixer and swapper is going to take place on the function f of ri minus 1 comma ki. Now let us see what exactly this function is. Okay, so the DES function is actually the heart of DES. Here it is applying 48 bit key to the rightmost 32 bits that is ri minus 1 to produce a 32 bit output. Basically the DES function is made up of four sections. First one is expansion D box. Second one is whitener which is adding the key. Third one is group of S boxes and fourth one is a straight D box. Now let us see the DES function with the help of a diagram. So if we see the DES function with the help of diagrams, this is your DES function. Okay, so it is this function box is using input of 32 bit which is applied to expansion D box. Okay, so this expansion D box is going to expand these 32 bits in the form of 48 bits. Okay, then the 48 bits is XORed with the key. Key is 48 bit again. So I'm representing key with KI. 
Ki and the expansion D box 48 bits are XORed to produce 48 bit output. That 48 bit output is applied to a group of S boxes. Now here you can see there are 8 group boxes, sorry, 8 group of S boxes. The work of each S box is to accept this 48 bits which is divided into 6 bit each. That means each S box is accepting 6 bits, 6 sides of 48, so 6 bit and producing the output of 32 bit. That 32 bit is applied to the state B, D box and it is producing the output of 32 bits only. Now let us see how exactly this expansion D box works. So if you see this is the example of expansion D box here. <clears throat> Actually all the 32 bits we have to make it as 48 bits. So what we have to do is arrange this 32 bits in a group of 8. Okay, so there will be 8 groups carrying 4 bits each. 4 eggs are 32. Okay, now question arises out of 32 bits how we can produce 48 bit output. So it will be like I am showing you. This is the first group of 4 bits. I am going to expand it. The first bit will be the last 32nd bit what I am taking. And the next bit will be as it is the 4 bits I am taking. So total 5 bits I got. The 6th bit will be the first bit of sec next group. And in the second group, second D box expansion, in the second group, uh, I am going to take the first bit from the last bit of the previous group and the next 4 bit as it is and the last bit will be from the first bit of the next group. This process will continue unless we are reaching the 8th group and producing 48 bit output. Okay, so all the 6 groups I am going to combine it to obtain 48 bit output. Okay, as far as the XOR is concerned, XOR is also called as whitener. Okay, once the expansion permutation is happening, the DES is using this XOR operation on the expanded right section and the round key. That means I am applying the 48 bit XOR yet I am applying on the expanded output and the key KI. Okay, then as far as S box is concerned, it is a group of S boxes. So as you can see, each S box is having 6 bit input. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like this, I am having 8 X boxes, 6 is of 48. I am going to reduce them to 4 bit. So each S box accepts the input of 6 bit and produces the output of 4 bit. And once it is producing the 4 bit output, all the output of X boxes are combined to yield 32 bit output. So this is the function of DES. Hope you understand. Thank you.